right, the time is six o'clock. We'll call this uh, regular city council meeting to order. All right. Welcome everybody. We'll be led in prayer by the chaplain Harry Comfrood, and then we'll follow that with a pledge to the flag. We want your guidance and direction as they discuss the business at hand tonight. I ask for your guidance upon them and for your leading in their discussions. I pray for the continued unity and respect for each other and for the prosperity of our city. I ask for daily wisdom and guidance for the mayor in everyday decisions. Grant him the discernment for the truth and the strength to walk uprightly. I lift up the men and women serving in our police and fire departments and their families. We ask for your protection upon them. And as always, we want to remember our men and women serving around the world in our military. We want you to keep them and their families safe. And we ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and be seated. Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Mr. Stuber, is he absent? He's absent. Mr. Westcott is absent. Mr. West, uh, Westcott is absent. Mr. Brown. Is it? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Eaton. Yeah. Mr. Wiley. Here. Ms. Freddie Harris. Yes. Mr. Richard Harris. Here. Mr. Tripp. Present. Quorum present. All right, we have a quorum. Council, you should have in your packet your uh, minutes from March and the special called meeting on April 6th. Uh, if there's no questions or comments, I would entertain a motion to approve. Motion. Do I have a second? Sure. Second, Mr. Eaton, enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> All in favor of approving the minutes say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, finance report tonight, it says Jerry McCoyne, but I've got a treat for you all. Mr. McCoyne is out of town. Ms. Connie Holstein will do the finance report. Thank you. General fund revenues for March was eight, uh, 820911 which was 1.71% above your date projection. Sales tax receipts was 646,132. Franchise fees and permits were 55,364. Expenditure for March was 946,465, 0.31% below year-to-date projections. $43,069 year-to-date more received than expended. Street fund rev revenues was 107,282, 19.68% below year-to-date projections. Sales tax receipts were 223,228. New one half cent sales tax was 43,381. Operational expense for the street uh, department was one, uh, 186,175, uh, 6.23% below year to date projections. Sales tax improvement was <coughs> 22,129. Capital was 12,373. Economic development revenues were 49,413, 46,201 new sales tax, 3,212 interest. Expenditures were 245,862 for parks, equipment, and depot park. Capital asset revenues were $315,034 for March, 310,987 new sales tax, 4,047 interest. Expenditures were 135. 784 for City Corporation, City Hall, Aquatic Center, Fire Station, and Airport. Good. Anybody got any questions for Ms. Holstein? Thank you. Thank you. For the Mayor's report, uh, Item 1, I'd like for uh, the Council to um, to affirm reappointment of Mr. Keith Cogswell III to a five-year term as commissioner on the Russellville Housing Authority. He is so moved. Second. Any discussion? 
Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, item two actually is um, my fault. We talked about two different months. Ms. Hurst will be here in uh, May uh, to give us a presentation on tobacco prevention. So uh, we'll do that then. The only other thing I have is with your indulgence, I would like to um, take notice of a couple of names, Brian Holstein, Steve Barker, and Kirk Jones and his daughter, Sabrina. They're all competing this weekend in the Russ Vegas Half Marathon, which is a big event for the city. Um, Brian actually finished third in his age group. That's the 80 plus age group, right? Wouldn't it worth it? He finished third last year, did a really good job. And so if none of you have anything to do Saturday, um, I guess for Steve Barker and Brian, we, you know, you might want to be at the finish line around 10 o'clock, 10.30. Kurt, what do you think? One, one thirty in the afternoon, get a sandwich and then come down? Maybe over the bad <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you there. Mr. Jones and, and his whole family actually are serious runners. Uh, just want to notice, take notice of our employees that are competing this weekend. And that's really all I have. So Mr. Jones, while you're on the spot, would you do the department report? Well, as always, I appreciate the opportunity to come before you and tell you about all the exciting things going on in public works. I will correct the mayor on one thing. Uh, he said we were competing in the uh, Las Vegas Half Marathon, and I think I, I'm going to be running in it. I don't know about competing. But, uh, <laughs> that might explain my unfamiliarity. And my, and my, daughter, my daughter has assured me that she is planning on running with me and not leaving me behind like she did uh, two years ago when we ran it. So. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to do this uh, a little bit different. Um, I've got, uh, I'm going to run through some things pretty quick, and then I've got a little uh, demonstration that I want to, that I want to do for you guys uh, and, and, and I guess anyone watching at home uh, on our GIS site. But uh, we'll just uh, we'll run through some of these uh, projects that we've completed. Is everybody able to see the monitors in the room okay? Does everybody see that? Sorry. I'm not sure that slide just slipped in there, Kurt. I, I'm, I'm so choked up I can't, con I can't continue. <laughs> is today your birthday? Uh, My, uh, yeah. It is. Um, Sounds like a scheduling yeah. problem to and me. I, and <laughs> I have to say that, uh, I have to say that uh, the, this slide's going to be a hard act to follow. The rest of my slides are going to look pretty. Uh, well, I can tell you. Well, they're going to the, look like they were prepared by an engineer. <laughs> with all the important uh, discussions we've had today, the biggest one was whether or not we were going to sing for you. I guess. I, uh, I'd appreciate happy it. Birthday, as a Kurt. We're going to let you, you go ahead. That out? Um, yeah, we, we've ruled out singing. All right. Well, let, let me. I, I know. Uh, I know we've got a long agenda, so let me get through this. <laughs> Uh, just, I want to run through real quick some of the projects that we've completed in the last year. Uh, the, the White Oak Lane drainage replacement project, uh, university sidewalks, uh, we did some curb repair downtown, the Bernard Way Street ex extension, which I understand uh, ConAgra has contacted me about actually completing that connection and tying into that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. But, uh, the uh, interstate drive repair which is Interstate and Gary uh, Drive over there off of uh, by Flying J. The, you know, our crews actually did a significant amount of the site work over on the fire station number three on some of that rehab work. We've been working with the Oakland Cemetery on some uh, work over there related to their columbarium. Uh, North Arkansas sidewalk project, which was completed last year. Uh, we did some culvert replacement placement out on West Main Place. Uh, we've been working with the police department on their shooting range pad and well we built the pad and now we're trying to get them a, 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 a covering out there for it. Uh, Skyline Drive drainage replacement which we replaced some large diameter pipe there along at the actually at the base of Skyline Drive. Uh, the uh, Vancouver sidewalk project which we just recently completed. 
the Flag Island planter, which we're not done with that yet. We're, we've got some, uh, uh, we're actually going to put some plants in the planter. Uh, we did uh, our 2015 street overlays, included approximately six miles of street overlays. Uh, we completed our, uh, our, our 2015 street assessment, which we will base the 2016 overlays on. Um, we do that about every, every three years. We did approximately 11 miles of street restriping. We, we put re reflectorized pavement markers on Parkway, which we're planning on uh, doing some more streets this year as, as well as soon as it warms up a little bit. But we completed, uh, we completed 959 work orders. I have a couple things on here that didn't, didn't make my list, but I just kind of want to mention. We did recently finish up a drainage pro project up on Skyline there in the Heartland Edition. Uh, replaced a bunch of uh, culverts that were um, under the streets and along the streets that were that were deteriorating, and then we we did some we did some inlet repair or enlargement down on Waco uh, down in the area where we've had some flooding along Waco. You know that in conjunction with uh, with the detention basin, we're hoping is going to uh, seriously reduce some of the flooding in that area. Current projects that we're working on. Uh, Tonight, in fact, you have on your agenda the first two of these to, to uh, award the bids on the Skyline sidewalks, which a lot of people ask me, oh, you're building sky sidewalks up Skyline. No, we're not. It's down actually at the base of Skyline. We, we probably could have come up with a better name for that. The, uh, and then the True S. Smith drainage improvements, it's, uh, we're putting in about 450 feet of, uh, of box culvert to help reduce some flooding issues over there. We've got the O Street project coming up, which they're, they're in the process of uh, finishing the utility relocations over there on that project. Uh, and we will be starting construction on that hopefully very soon. Uh, Cedar Street, which is the road going into the convention center, uh, we're, the design's complete on that. We're, we're in the process of uh, finalizing some property acquisition and we'll be getting started on that soon. And of course, our 2016 overlay project, which y'all have uh, we, we've budgeted, you know, nine hundred thousand dollars in street overlays, which will probably get us somewhere in the neighborhood of six to seven miles of streets that we will get overlaid this year. Uh, we've got some lighting projects coming up: uh, Sequoia Way uh, from 12th Street to, uh, I'm sorry, from Ingle Glenwood, back over to uh, 12th Street or the roundabout. We're planning on adding some street lighting along that section. Uh, the interstate interchange lighting, uh, we are looking at, uh, in fact, have made contact with the state and are working on uh, getting some lighting on the, particularly the Weir Road uh, interchange out there. And then also some of the lighting that is out there, maybe either adding some more or at least getting what's out there working. Uh, and I have been in contact with the highway department on that. Then uh, another sidewalk project that we're looking at right now is the uh, kind of final, filling in some gaps along South Phoenix and getting a continuous sidewalk along South Phoenix. Um, the, um, and then, uh, oh, the project, that, this is actually funded through the highway department. We got a grant for this to do some sidewalks along Knoxville in front of the high school and then along 19th Street. Um, what I wanted to kind of, and I'm, I'm gonna just I'm not sure how this is going to work or how visible this is going to be, but I wanted to let, make you all aware of our, what we've got in our GIS department over at Public Works and, and some of the mapping and some of the capabilities uh, that, uh, you know, through our website. And I know Mr. Tripp has used this in the past because uh, we've had some discussions about, uh, about some of the items on here. But let me just bring this up real quick. We've got on our, okay. I came up for, there it is. Uh, we've, it's, a, it's an interactive you know, map on, through, available through our website. And I think, uh, and what I kind of wanted to show you real quick here was some of the things that we can do here with this. Um, you know, one thing, we get a lot of calls about, you know, is there, you know, what's the right of way here? What's the easement here? Well, we've got all that information is actually on this map. And we've got where we've got uh, bike, bike lanes, walk lanes. Let's bring all that up here. And let me just zoom in on a section here. 
Like for example, uh, you know this this street section here, which is um, I believe that's Phoenix, and we're showing bike lane along there. But we can turn all this on and off through uh, through the menu over on the right. You know this is our uh, I don't know why I turned those buildings on, but I apologize very small screen but uh, you know for example our, our street assessment uh, we put all that information on our GIS you know you can anyone can come in and, 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 and bring up uh, you know what our what our street ratings are and we've got them color-coded on this map um, you know the blue the cyan color you see here is a rating uh, and they're keyed over here from 60 to 79 which is means it's a candidate for overlay. The uh, green that we've got shown here, 80 to 100, that means it's, it's a serviceable or acceptable street. And then uh, some of the streets, we've got the yellow, that means it was not rated for one reason or another, typically because it's concrete and our, we, don't, uh, we don't have a way to rate those on the same scale as the asphalt. And then if it's red, that means it's in pretty bad shape and it's, it's probably a candidate for uh, reconstruction. But there's a whole, you know, zoning, zoning map is available on here. Uh, you know, I've just turned on the zoning for the city there. I mean, any property owner can come in here. They can, they can turn on, uh, uh, you know, property lines that show where their lots are, find out what their zoning is, setbacks are on here, easements are on here, the water and sewer utilities are on here, um, <coughs> the actual, uh, you know, the, the, the council ward information is on here. But uh, it's a very useful tool. Um, and it's, like I say, it's available, it's available to, uh, to everyone in the city. Um, but I kind of wanted to give you a brief, brief overview of that. And I've probably taken up more time than, uh, than you all allotted for me. But I would be happy at this point to answer any questions that you might have. Mr. Jones, <coughs> on your on the GIS, I, I say mm -hmm. this because this, I actually had this conversation with the resident. Your street sweeping schedule and routes are actually on there too, right? Oh, they are. Yeah, yeah. Because it pulled up. <laughs> we have we have the street sweeping. We we street we sweep in zones is what right. we do. It yes, they are on there. Uh, and on your on your uh, on the flag planner project, mm -hmm. you got to ask. I don't know if everybody got to appreciate this or not, but. Uh, were the yellow rubber duckies part of the project, or were they? I think that was a that the yellow duckies. To me, I, I I think that was a little bit of illegal duck hunting going on out there. <laughs> I don't know if everybody got to see or not, but somebody went down there and put in some rubber duckies down there, and, and so I, we're, I gave we're, Mr. Jones a pretty hard time about that. We have uh, we're actually in the process of correcting that, so there will not be a duck habitat. Mr. Jones, I do have a question. Yes, sir. Um, one of the worst streets in Russell, and if you have anything in your car that rattles, it's going to rattle on this road, is Lakefront Drive. Is there any plans at all to resurface that stretch of road? The lakefront? Yes. That's a state highway. Is it? Yes. You're talking about what used to be Dyke Road. That's right. Yeah, Lakefront Drive is actually a state highway. Okay, I wasn't aware of that. And, and I don't know, uh, you know, they do, uh, and, and they, the highway department's been pretty good about keeping us up to date as far as what their overlay plans are on their state highways because we do have a lot of state highways that uh, that run through Russville and trust me we get a lot of calls on them but, but that is a state highway so right, thank you anything else well thank you very much thank you mr. Jones and happy birthday thank you all right committee reports chairman Tripp you got business for us thank you mayor uh, on your agenda here item number one and two accidentally skipped our uh, agenda and the finance committee so Ms. Collins is going to move those back so I'm going to start at number three here uh, finance committee met last two a week ago Tuesday and these were referred uh, from the committee to present to the council uh, discussion to request a quote from local financial institutions uh, for city general street fund accounts uh, Mr. Uh, McCoy was going to um, gather some information to see if it would be in the best interest of the city to to do a three-year term on some of that stuff, and I believe he's I believe he's working on that now. Uh, Mr. Smith, does that does that require uh, council approval, or is it 
but still, is it okay just at the committee approval? No, it will need council okay. approval. All right, well, that was passed, and so that's presented to the council in the form of a motion. All right, council, um, you heard the motion. Any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Next item, consideration of resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to enter into an agreement with Main Street Restville for services provided to the city. That was also passed by the committee to present to the council in the form of a motion. I would make a note on that 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 is an expense driven, expense reimbursement driven contract. Council, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Owner number five, consideration resolution accepting the bid from Ford Engineering to construct the Skyline Drive sidewalk project and authorizing the mayor and city clerk treasurer to enter into an agreement with Ford Engineering for the construction of this project. That was passed by the committee to present to the council in the form of a motion. Any discussion, council? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number six is appropriation uh, to present the funding for the Main Street contract, which is $40,000 annually, which is will be paid in, in quarter <coughs> on a reimbursement, uh, in a reimbursement perspective, re reimbursement manner. That was passed by the committee to present to the council in form of a motion. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number seven is the Boys Girls Club funding, $50,000. Again, same thing as the Main Street. Uh, contract and that was presented uh, by the committee to present to the council in form of a motion. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And I have a question for Mr. Smith on number eight. Mr. Smith, does this require uh, committee only approval once the money is appropriated or does this require council approval? I think we had written the contract for the committee approval so but there is the issue on the fact that their submittal was over the any one quarter so and then i thought y'all had a question as to one of the expenses as well we use eighteen thousand quarterly well, that was at the, the final, I'll, we'll just go ahead and run it through the council, just to be safe. The finance committee voted to approve $18,000 in reimbursement expenses. They had submitted over 18,000. One of those was questionable, that that was not gonna drop it below 18,000. So the committee decided just to go ahead with the $18,000 reimbursement. And that was passed by the committee to present to the council in form of a motion. Well, council, you heard the motion. Are there any questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Mayor, uh, before tonight's meeting, we had a, a follow-up uh, finance and property committee meeting. Uh, item number one from tonight's agenda, pr uh, appropriation for the airport, $1,221.50. That was pr uh, passed by the committee to present to the council in form of a motion. Any questions, council? All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Item number two is another appropriation to fund the uh, professional services for the city planning, and that was passed by the committee to present to the <coughs> council in form of a motion. Any questions on that one, council? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Next was an ordinance designating the Russell Police Department as the department responsible for collection of fines in Pope County District Court. City of Russell Criminal, Criminal Division that was passed by the committee to present in form of a motion to the council. And Mr. Smith, do I need to either need to that or make another motion to adopt that? Suspend the rules, read it by title only. You'll have to do that first. Okay, I make that motion to suspend the rules, read by title only. Second. And that's read it one time only and for adoption. Okay. So the motion is to is the current motion is to suspend the rules read one time by title only, uh, and that's seconded by Mr. Eaton. Any questions on the motion to suspend? Would you call the roll, Ms. Clark? Mr. Eaton. Yes. Mr. Tripp. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yeah. Mr. Wiley. Yes. Ms. Brady Harris. Yes. Mr. Richard Harris. Yes. Motion carries. <coughs> Mr. 
Schmidt. An ordinance designating the city, uh, designating the Russell <coughs> Police Department as the department responsible for collection of fines of the Pope County District Court, City of Russellville Criminal Division for other purposes. This ordinance, if passed pursuant to the state law as uh, quoted in the ordinance, would designate the Russell Police Department as the collector of the fines assessed in Pope County District Court, City of Russell Criminal Division. Motion to adopt. Second. We got a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Aye. Oh, we got to call the roll, don't we? Yes. Sure uh, Mr. Tripp. Yes. Mr. Eaton. Yes. Mr. Richard Harris. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Wiley. Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris. Yes. Motion carries. That concludes everything we need on that one, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, last on our agenda from tonight, Mayor, was consideration resolution accepting a bid from Bowden Specialties for construction of the True F. Smith drainage repair project for the city of Russville and authorizing the mayor and city clerk treasurer to enter into an agreement with Bowden Specialties for construction. That was passed by the committee to present to the council in form of a motion. Council, you heard the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is that all you got, Mr. Tripp? Yes, sir. That is all that we have had in our two meetings this month. Thank you. Chairman Stuber is out tonight. Does anybody on the personnel committee know of any uh, pending business? None. That brings us to old business, item one, ordinance amending the zoning code for uh, pertaining to sidewalks. This is a third reading. And make a motion to read by title only for the third reading. Or if I can retract that and ask Trey a question, Mr. Smith, a question, Mr. Smith, mm -hmm. where, what do we need to do to be able to discuss this? Well, it needs to be up for a vote, so. And what you're going to decide if you throw a third reading. Okay, I make a motion to suspend the rules, read by title only for the third reading. Second. I believe Mr. Wiley got the second. Council all in favor of suspending the rules? We uh, call the roll on that. I guess we're, we're trying to get me trained to just call the roll on everything. Uh, so, Ms. Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Don't have to. Mr. Tripp? Yes. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Mr. Eaton? Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris? Yes. Mr. Richard Harris? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Discussion? Mr. Tripp? I need to read it first. Oh. An ordinance made in the zone code of the city of Russell, <laughs> ordinance number 1966, and for other purposes, this ordinance of pass would amend ordinance number 1966, Article 3, Section 3, Subsection 21. Regarding uh, sidewalks, uh, specifically in subsection 321.1c, and also in uh, 321.2, excuse me, 321.2d. All right. All right. Now discussion, Mr. Tripp. I believe you were first. Thank you, Mayor. Um, just to give everybody a little bit of history, quick history on this. Um, there was a project came about here a while back and there was some discussion on it. I think Mr. Jones was involved. And um, in reviewing the ordinance, it was found that if someone wanted to appeal the decision, the way the ordinance currently reads is that it is appealed, appealed to the city planner. Mr. Smith said that that needed to be changed to be appealed to the Board of Adjustments. So that is the change, I believe, on page two of your ordinance there that's, that's underlined. Uh, in section, my screen just went blank, um, where it talks about, where it strikes out the, the city planner and it goes to the Board of Adjustments. And then next, Mr. Jones had had a suggestion, and I'll ask him in just a second to explain, on section 3.21.1c, uh, where this requirement is triggered by having to go to the Planning Commission, uh, and I'll ask him to to give his opinion on that um, 
my, my biggest thing with this is to change that for Mr. Smith's purpose of the appeal for the Board of Adjustments. And in this discussion of this, this particular project, it was stated that uh, currently it's kind of left up for this interpretation. And that's kind of where I think uh, somebody's opinion, two people's opinions might differ on this. And I believe that's where the clarification in section 3.211 came from, but I'll let Mr. Jones explain. Well, my comment and, and suggestion that uh, Mr. Tripp referred to came about as a result of, you know, there was, I think, in maybe one of the drafts of this ordinance, and I, I apologize, I haven't looked at it in about three months, <laughs> but uh, what included some language that would exempt projects that were existing developments. Uh, and I don't, I don't think that existing developments should just be, uh, you know, blanketly exempted. I felt like that, you know, if it was a, if it was a development of a significant size that triggered the large scale development review process, that that could be one uh, trigger for the sidewalks. I think that absolutely, regardless of the size of the project, if it's a new project, new commercial project. Uh, whether it falls under the, uh, the trigger for a large-scale development plan, it needs to have sidewalks. Um, but, you know, we have, some, we have some fairly minor additions to large commercial projects. Say, for example, uh, well, we've got, you know, sidewalks, of course, out in front of the city mall right now. But say, for example, they, they decided to add a, a small you know, thousand foot addition to that structure, uh, and there were no sidewalks along North Arkansas, would they have to then, under this current ordinance, would they have to come in and, and, and put sidewalks? And I think if I interpret the ordinance correctly right now, they, they would. Uh, I think there needs to be some kind of exemption, you know, if, uh, you know, on a on a development having to uh, having to come in after the fact and, and and do sidewalks for a minor addition to that you know commercial development. Now, if it were if it's a single you know a small commercial uh, you know uh, you know two thousand square foot uh, you know commercial project that is a brand new project, I think they absolutely should have to incorporate sidewalks into their development, but. But we're talking about a minor addition, uh, and I don't know what I, you know. I'm, I, I don't know what that magic number is, and I had just suggested if it triggers large scale, then it should have to go. Uh, I know in our drainage ordinance, we trigger um, one of the triggers that we have in that is a uh, increase in impervious area of 500 square feet. I mean, we could we could trigger it if you if you want to have a trigger. Uh, it could be triggered by any square footage. The large-scale development trigger, I believe, is 15,000 square feet. So um, that's, that's where my comment came from. And, um, and I don't know, Mr. Tripp, are you suggesting right now that, that we take that out completely and just it, no, they I'm appeal? Not, okay. My, my, uh, my motion is to, as it reads in front of us. And, and how does it exactly read? I'm refreshing my memory. Is it changes, it changes in previously existing or mixed commercial usage that do not require planning commission review shall not have to comply with this subsection. Okay. Okay. That, and that's in addition and to and that, the existing okay. language. All right. Okay. And that's what we had discussed. Okay. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. Mr. Mayor. Mr. E. Thank you. Uh, I certainly agree with the first part of this where this should go back to the, uh, away from the planner and back as indicated. I am strictly opposed to giving any kind of uh, non-compliance for sidewalks in the city. And the reason that I say that is uh, we have added money in our budget this past year. We just heard of several sidewalk projects. Um, there were options that were uh, approved in, in the past for those areas. And now we say we need the sidewalks and we're having to go back as a city and provide those. And uh, I just think that uh, 
that ought to be, that ought to remain. I don't think there should be that exception there. Mayor, again, if I can. Mr. Smith, was the uh, intent here, uh, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm okay with, with amending this. I have no really objection to this unless Mr. Smith does. Um, it's my understanding in our discussions that, that the interpretation to this was the issue. Is that correct? It was, see that, the underline means it wasn't there in the original. And so that, you just had to interpret what was not underlined. And so that was put in to kind of clarify between the two different uh, new versus previously existing. So the current, the way it currently reads, if you change any use on that property, then you shall make the uh, street improvement, street frontage improvements, correct? That was the issue, that was the issue that Public Works had to address, I believe. I guess my, my thought is, <clears throat> I think I understand what you're, what you're trying to do here, Mr. Jones, and I don't know that I disagree with it. I guess, th I'm just not sure, you know, there's a lot of clever people uh, in communities that can look at exclusions and take advantage of them. And uh, looking at the wordage, the verbiage as it's proposed, I'm just not real sure that this can't be abused. And, and that's, that's my objection to it. Um, I don't know if we could put verbiage in here that, that wouldn't uh, provide an avenue for uh, abuse. But that, that's my concern is that someone, someone will do a project and they'll find a way to get around it with this exclusion uh, and will not do uh, the right thing by the city. Mr. Mr. Smith, if the second part is act changed and then this 3.21.1 is, that change is removed, someone could still appeal that to the Board of Adjustment. You, yes, I mean, it's, this is part of your zoning code, so any type of variance would be appealable to the zoning code. Mayor, I make a, I'd like to amend my motion, if I can, to just to remove the underlying part in section 3.21.1, and the only change being there on the next page of my screen keeps going blank, but the change to the board adjustments, I'd like to amend my motion to that. Well, you have to have a motion to adopt it first. Okay. Do we? Okay. I don't, there's no, there's been none. Are we still at a point where we can discuss something here? I want to ask the attorney something right quick. It, the way this reads right now, I'm like Mr. Eaton, does this mean that they do not have to put a sidewalk in front of their business if they redo it? That if it doesn't, as it reads now, that if it doesn't have to go to the Planning Commission for large scale development, then that's correct. Okay. May I ask the question, Mr. Jones? Yes, sir. Put you on the spot. You just indicated a while ago in your report that you had an area in town that you were filling gaps in sidewalks mm -hmm. would you please describe where those are <laughs> for us uh, you want me to explain every gap in town not every one because <laughs> it would be after my death before you would get through well explaining the, all of those but this particular the, the area that we're looking that at you is, mentioned. is along south phoenix Okay. And we've got we've got sidewalk that skips over from one side of the street yeah. to the other. We we also have sidewalks on on uh, North Arkansas Avenue. That's correct. That were gapped yep. the they same were. way because of this kind of provision that was in our. We, uh, yes and no. I mean, I think a lot of it was there were just simply not sidewalks required on on some new developments along Arkansas. Mm -hmm. I mean, over mm -hmm. the years, and I don't know, you know, for various reasons. Um, <laughs> Uh, you know, some of sure. that was done prior to the, right. and, and I'm a, I, don't get me wrong, I'm a big proponent of sidewalks, yeah. but, uh, you know, I, I do see situations and, and, you know, and I don't, I'm not saying that this 
these situations cannot be handled by the Board of Adjustments. Uh, I think there's going to be a situation where uh, a commercial development, a large commercial development is going to come in, want to make a minor change, and they're not going to be able to economically make that minor change because all of a sudden they're going to be saddled with having to add you know, sidewalk along their entire front. That's where they can go and appeal then, if well, that's the case. Yeah. But if I, if I recall, mm -hmm. another example that I want to share was a street that was redone several years ago, East 4th Street. There were sections in there that there yes. were sidewalks, and then they had no sidewalks, and then they had sidewalks, and then we didn't have any sidewalks. In fact, I think there's one little strip in there that still doesn't have a sidewalk. And that's what we need to avoid I agree. in the future. We're trying to make it pedestrian friendly for everybody in our city. And I, I think when we look the other way, uh, that burden then is going to fall back on the rest of the taxpayers to do that somewhere down the line. So. Mayor, are we at a point where I can make a motion to adopt? Uh, yes. I make a motion to adopt with removing the underlying language in section 3.21.1. We have to do the motion to adopt and then do an amendment to, is that correct? Or can you right. do it at this point? No, I need to adopt it. Then so, let's motion, get a second motion to, motion to adopt. Let's get a second, second to that. Second who? Mr. Yeah. Harris. Would, can you repeat it this end didn't hear? Yeah. Yeah. Well, for now, the motion is to adopt as it's written, but I believe Mr. Uh, Trip is going to amend it once we get this part done. You're going to amend it to where the, they can't, that they have to put a sidewalk? I'm going to, re I'm going to amend it to remove that underlying language that is the change, it, which it will be in front of you, so it'll revert back to Could the you same thing. Speak into your mic a little bit, we can't hear It'll revert back to, ex it'll st remain the way it reads today. Okay, I'll, You're I'll, going I'll, to strike the I'll, underline I'll, part I'll, of 321-1C? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Gotcha. Because I can't vote yeah, for it. Now I don't need to do it. Okay, so before we vote. That's correct. All right, now. I make a motion to amend that to strike the underlined. Is that correct? Yes. Strike the underlined portion of section 3.21.1C. We're going to vote on the amendment first. No, I second Good. that. Second from, who was the second? Mr. Harris? Yes. All right, second from Mr. Harris. So what we will be voting on at this point yes. is the amended motion the, to strike the underlying portion of 3.21.1C. Yeah, is that correct? Everybody C. okay on that? that means, yeah, straight. All right, you want to call the roll on the amendment? Mr. Tripp. Yes. Mr. Richard Harris. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Mr. Eaton. Yes. Mr. Wiley. Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris. Yes. Motion carries. <coughs> okay. Vote as amended. So now the vote would be on the main motion as amended. As amended. All, yeah. Any discussion? I want to be sure everybody's clear. What we're voting. Just so we're going to get sidewalks. As I understand it, the rule will be you still you have to put in sidewalks. Yeah, that's but if good. there's a case that it's justified, you could appeal that to the BOA. Okay. Okay. Got you. Everybody clear? <coughs> clear. I'll we'll call the roll on the main motion. Mr. Tripp. Yes. Mr. Richard Harris. Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris. Yes. Mr. Wiley. Yes. Mr. Eaton. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Motion carries. Good. <coughs> Where are we now? Old business two? <coughs> yeah. Director. Okay. Director service. Old business number two, the record ordinance. Mayor. I want to make a motion that we do away with this ordinance and we turn it back over to the police department where it should be because he does all this work anyway and we don't need to be micromanaging the police department. So I'm making a motion we do away with this ordinance. Okay, let me make sure you want to do away with, completely do away with ordinances 1853 and 1890? Yes. Uh, not just the changes that we were covering. No, I don't want to change it. I want, to, I want to do away with it and I want to turn it back over to the police department because they've got a manual policy that's got this in it already and we don't need to be micromanaging the police department. 
Okay, so the motion is to completely repeal ordinances 1853 and 1890. I don't think we can do that without. Can we do, we have to do the ordinance first? No, I mean, you're wanting to repeal two ordinances already on the books, so we need to have an ordinance that says that, or you can strike out everything in this ordinance except section 10 and that will accomplish your goal which of repeals ordinance number 1853 and 1890 if that's what you're wanting to do if i understand you correctly all right to, are you wanting to repeal every ordinance i want i want i don't want the do city council services. to have nothing to do with this ordinance uh, as far as the record service the uh, police department's got all kinds of of stuff in their manual to take care of this and we don't need to have nothing to do with it are you wanting all previous ordinances dealing with record service and rpd repealed as well yes i want to turn back over to the police department well you could strike out every section except for 10 on this one pass it and that will accomplish your goal all right i'm like the motion we spend the rule for title only read by title only with short explanation is that what i need to do if you want to pass it if you want to proceed to pass it and eventually get it to where only section 10 is the only section of this order <laughs> tonight then yes you would have to do that that all almost right. sounds kind of messy though would it not be just as i mean We've had no readings on this. Would it not be better to? Uh, yeah, we've read it. We've read it twice. Have we read it twice? Yeah, this is the third time. But it was tabled last month, as I understand. Yeah, we tabled it last month because we we was all okay. we was all. Uh, sure, you can do that too. Well, not indefinitely. No, you can all bring it back next month. Or, yeah. Well, I uh, yeah, chief. been read three times <coughs> can we not just let that pa not pass yeah we, we just don't pass it we could just then we're currently under the two existing ordinances next month come back with an ordinance to repeal those two ordinances we can do that too okay. I'm, I'm just trying to answer and that's the way we're doing do that yeah. you can vote to remove this one off the agenda and then next month if you want to repeal the other two we can have an ordinance that just repeals the other two right and the reason Mr. Wiley's saying that is if we've researched this further, Arkansas Tow and Recovery only requires a, a policy through the police department, not an ordinance, to regulate this. And we're trying to make it simple. Okay. Yeah. And we're, we're trying to make move, it complicated. Move to adopt. We got to. Pardon? I spent it rules well, while oh, ago. Pardon me. Okay. Well, you didn't get a second either, though. No. So what, All right. What move. you're saying is we need a motion to remove from the agenda. Yes. Move to let's, adopt. Let's do that. Vote to remove and from the vote agenda. It. I would assume we vote that down if that's the direction that we're going, right? Yeah. I second. Well, okay. Let me see. They could do that, or they could just make a motion to remove it from our right. agenda tonight. Right. And, just, and yeah. we'll bring it back next month. We'll just remove this one from the agenda, and the next month we'll have a new one that just. Yeah. Okay, let's let's vote adopt. on this so, and not pass it, and then it'll be. Okay, so we got a motion to adopt. You gonna second, second. that? Second. All right. We got a question. That's correct. If we're gonna go the adoption route. Well, we're gonna. No, I just pass it. just make a main motion to remove it off the agenda. Uh -huh. And then it's disposed of if you pass that main motion. Instead of making a motion to spend the rules and motion to vote on it, you can make a main motion to remove this proposed ordinance from the agenda. Yeah, what you did, Mr. Mr. Mayor, uh, I'd like to withdraw my motion. Was okay, that your you motion? Or a new motion to, to remove it from our agenda then? And that's what I will do. And I'll okay. second that. All right. So we have a motion to remove item old business two from our agenda and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Okay. 
So that cleans that up, right? Yeah, it's gone now, and it won't come back unless someone puts it back. Thank you. All right, new business one, consideration of a resolution for a special use permit uh, to operate an auto repair shop. This was tabled last month by petitioner's attorney. No motion on item one. Going once, going twice. Lack of a motion. Fails for lack of motion. Fails for lack of motion. Thank you. Thank you. Item two, consideration of an ordinance to vacate and abandon right of way in lot one, block five, Woodbridge Estates. Make the motion we spend for rules of retirement long and short explanation. Okay, this is second reading. You want to suspend for second and third? Yes. Okay. Mr. Thank Eaton you. is a second on that. So we're voting on the motion to suspend for the second and third readings and read by title only. Call the roll. Mr. Wiley. Yes. Mr. Eaton. Yes. Mr. Tripp. Yes. Mr. Brown. Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris. Yes. Mr. Richard Harris. Yes. Motion carried. Okay, so now read the rules. In order to vacate and abandon parts of a vacant right of way, but reserving a utility easement, lot one, block five, Woodridge Estates, phase four, the city of Russell, Arkansas, for other purposes, this ordinance of pass would vacate the aforementioned legal description, uh, but it would reserve a utility easement in that same location. Motion to adopt. Second. Motion, Mr. Wiley, second, Mr. Eaton. Any discussion? Call the roll. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Eaton? Yes. Mr. Tripp? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Freddie <coughs> Harris? Yes. Mr. Richard Harris? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. New business three, consideration of a resolution requiring the rehab by agreement or removal or razzing of an unoccupied dilapidated structure located at 1216 South El Paso. We have a motion to adopt. Second. We have a motion, Mr. Wiley, and a second, Mr. Eaton. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item four, consideration of a resolution requiring a rehab agreement, removal or razzing of an unoccupied dilapidated structure located at 709 East 8th Street. Motion to adopt. Second. Motion, Mr. Wiley, second, Mr. Eaton. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item five, consideration of an ordinance to rezone property currently R1 to R3, located at 200 block of East Holly Street. And this one is ordinance. Thank you, motion for spin rule of retail only short explanation. For all three readings. For all three readings. Yep. Okay. Second. Motion to suspend. For all three readings, by t read by title only, and a second um, call to roll <coughs> the, the motion to suspend. Mr. Wally? Yes. Mr. Eaton? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris? Yes. Mr. Richard Harris? Yes. Mr. Tripp? Yes. Motion carries. Okay, Mr. Smith. In order to rezone certain really in the city of Russell, Arkansas, and for other purposes, this ordinance if passed would rezone property located at the 200 block of East Holly Street, Russell, Arkansas, as further described in attachment labeled Exhibit A from R1 to R3. Motion to adopt. Second. We've got a motion and a second. Is there any discussion? We can call the roll. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Eaton? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. 
Mr. Richard Harris. Yes. Ms. Pretty Harris. Yes. Mr. Tripp. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Item six is connected to item five. Um, I think it's a required form for, there's a tax credit uh, issue pending on item five, and that's what the resolution addresses. No, it's, it's from a previous one that was passed. Okay. So, but it, it, was, it was passed back in February, I believe. So do you need a motion to adopt that? Yes. Motion to adopt. Second. Motion, Mr. Wiley, second, Mr. Eaton. Any discussion? In that case, you want to call the roll on this one? Resolution. We're going to get trained sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wiley? Yes. Mr. Eaton? Yes. Mr. Richard Harris? Yes. Mr. Tripp? Yes. Mr. Brown? Yes. Ms. Freddie Harris? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Jones. I something else. One little deal. Um, if you two gentlemen would stand up, I want to make sure everybody knows that's Battalion Chief Brent Ham on the left, Battalion Chief Kurt Sloan on the right. Um, they're kind of, uh, Chief Ham is our acting chief, but it's a collaborative effort from what I, all I've heard. Just want to recognize those two guys for the great job they're doing. Thank you. Mr. Wiley, did you have another motion there? Motion to adjourn. Like it. Let's do it. Thank you all.